the galaxy of uh, surgeons and my beloved engineers, media friends. Uh, I, I also join along with others. First, to congratulate Dr. Sudhir Viswa and the entire SSI team for making this to happen because uh, this was more like a dream when we talked about in January conference. But the dream has come true uh, when today when we are talking about uh, demonstrating mantra three. So this mantra, uh, it definitely opens it up when you're talking about uh, the future, uh, the future of the healthcare in India. Uh, you look at here, food security, I think reasonably we have done well. But coming to the health security point of view, definitely a lot more room is available. And in that room, mantra can play a reasonably good role. I think that's what we're talking about there. And that to happen, that to happen, uh, such a technology is concerned, this is basically a convergence of uh, uh, medical science as well as engineering science. So this happened and technology-wise, I think we are seeing its a viability. And from mantra two to mantra three is concerned. I think that, that I think reasonably well it has uh, happened. And uh, now uh, I understand that today already a yeah, mantra three system is in US, and that will showcase global in this arena how how it is going to behave. And uh, Dr. Fred Mars is another uh, uh, way of uh, trying to show the acceptability is coming among the surgeons of eternity. When that is happening beyond the technical viability, definitely when this has to move forward. You need the acceptability by the surgeons. Because I know I worked uh, in uh, 15 years back for the tele-education, a tele-educet uh, was launched. Uh, I was a part of uh, that uh, mission. But unfortunately, though the technically the mission was okay, unfortunately the acceptability among the teaching fraternity was not good that time. So that's why more or less that mission could not really fructify. But definitely during the COVID time, People understood. Now, the tele-education is coming in a big way. But taking the lines from there, it calls for basically acceptability by the users. That means there, the education point of view, it is called for uh, the professors and teaching fatality. And that I think uh, uh, SSI has taken such a way, bringing the people around. Dr. Sudhir Rawal and Dr. Somashagar, people like them, they are part and parcel of this mantra three. I know that. I think they are the part and parcel of this mantra three. So that gives an acceptability by the surgeon and a good number of surgeons also among these galaxies. I'm able to see the acceptability by the surgeons is coming there. But again, beyond further to go, because they especially Dr. Sudhir was telling about, it's possible penetration in the... Uh, nation like India, uh, where it is called for affordability. Affordability is definitely, it's really required. And mantra three is basically, you know, look at here, I used to tell time and again, an innovation is called for, and the innovation is affordable innovation. I think mantra three is nothing but an affordable innovation, wherein they complicated what are so that things have been in the place of that, the way in the new sensors have come, and the way in which that compact system has arrived at, it definitely it, it envisages the affordability is possible to provide that. Now, beyond that, beyond that definitely is coming acceptability by the patients. They also, it's acceptability. I think today you look at here, uh, I had the opportunity to go across uh, uh, very many uh, uh, these um, medical conferences and uh, were in the surgeons conferences. And I could see a good acceptability with respect to laparoscopy is concerned. And I think this is basically a graduation over that. So accordingly, I believe uh, definitely when this graduation is taking place, acceptability of the patients also will come especially place like India, wherein we talk about nearly, uh, I, I was told, I was told yeah, uh, by an estimate, uh, nearly 3646, a yeah, number for uh, one lakh patients, one, one lakh population, this many uh, surgeries are happening there. In that, nearly 30% of surgery, I was told it's happening between 30 to 50 years of age. This is the real, real productive age group of that. And they need to come forward at the earliest. And they need to get back to the work, uh, job also at the earliest. So there, I think this can play, laparoscopy has played a role. And the, here it can play a role. And there, again, now you're putting the thing here, super specialty hospitals are there. Surgeons are there, specialized surgeons. But the patients is nook and corner of length and breadth of India, country like this. 
so the connectivity is called for also is called for so they there comes the technical viability of today's technical viability already symbolically they showed not more than 53 millisecond uh, latency the surgery could be done there similarly play teleprotecting point of view even from delhi to bangalore it has happened there so now this graduate further in the days to come uh, definitely in the name of same airtels uh, uh, another uh, uh, low earth communication and rls elon musk's uh, starling uh, that is going to go not more than additional 40 to 50 millisecond another thing that thing anywhere to anywhere in india so that means within 100 millisecond patients can be attended to from the super speciality hospital to that so that means the connectivity of surgeon without he being moving uh, to the place and the patient without he being being brought to the this place i think that's possible that's what we are talking about here that means this can be dr somashagar can be sitting in his place dr sudhir raval can be sitting in his place without uh, till they can connect to a person somewhere in the new corner of the primary health center of in india so that opens it up a big 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 possibilities and that to happen so these are all the possibilities that to happen definitely we need the support of the policy makers because we know beyond the food security healthcare point of view across india i think both central and state governments are trying to do it their own way and i feel this can fit into that package also that there is that possibility also existing there so putting the things together that this to happen because uh, uh, i know there was a time people used to ask about why india need to go to the space we have lot of issues within the india why we have to go like that but india cannot afford not to have the space like that at all when that really it should happen media played a reasonably good role and that's why today even indian space program is one among the top when you're talking about that now we are going to take forward our indian healthcare system also one among the top in the world same space and Uh, our medical science can work together so bringing the tele surgery in a real form tele diagnostic in real form tele proctoring in real form so that way happening india can show the line what can be done to global era also that means what we talk today january we talked about a possibility of this chair system it's happened there today we are talking about a possibility not a possibility finite possibility of happening anywhere to in any anywhere in india surgeon to patient connectivity doing a real real surgery is concerned and that will show a way to the global era of our medical healthcare is concerned that way yes india is rising india is rising in the science and technology india is rising in the medical science and india is ready to roar for its own care that's what we showed in the covid not only it has seen to that its own uh, population it's definitely definitely it helped for the other populous beyond its boundary i think the day is not far today is the kick start for that thank you thank you thank you very much for